Can you introduce yourself and your organisation? Hi, I'm Faisal Khan. I'm Head of Employer Relations at SIPFA, the Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy. Thank you. What distinguishes you from the other accountancy bodies? Well, there are six different institutes that graduates can choose from in order to train as a chartered accountant. Um, SIP for specialist is leadership and management within public finance and accountancy. So we cover both private sector finance as well as public sector finance. Great. Why would you urge students to join? Uh, to join the institute? Yes. Well, accountancy itself is a very, very safe and secure profession. Uh, it's one of the most commonly thought after professions post-university. And SIPFA has a lot of benefits to offer, not only a uh, a long successful career within public finance, uh, but also the qualification is intellectually very stimulating. So once students leave university, you can do 12 exams in three years, become a fully qualified accountant, and then hopefully climb that corporate ladder and become a director of finance or a head of finance somewhere. That sounds great. What employers do you work with? We work with a whole host of organisations, although we are the public um, public sector finance specialists. We have all sorts of public sector organisations, so local and central government, the health sector. We also work with a lot of the accountancy firms, so Grant Thornton, KPMG, some of our biggest SIPRA employers of both students and members. But anywhere you go in practice, anywhere you go within the industry, anywhere you go within public finance, SIPRA is very, very well recognised. That's great. Thank you very much for your time no today. No problem. Good luck. Hello there, my name is Jason Nye and I'm a student recruitment manager at SEMA, the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants. What distinguishes you from the other accountancy bodies? Um, I think one key difference of, of SEMA as a professional body is the management accountancy element. So as opposed to financial accountancy, when you're looking at the past performance of an organisation, management accountancies are a lot more forward thinking. So it's about combining financial expertise along with a core business understanding and knowledge to really drive businesses forward, guide critical business decisions and be a financially qualified business leader. Okay, thank you. Why would you urge students to join as members and what benefits might they derive? Okay, so um, a reason for, for people to join SEMA as a professional body is one, because we are the largest body of management accountants in the world, so if, if this is the route in accountancy that someone wants to go down, then SEMA would be an ideal choice for them. Um, we work with over 4,500 employers globally who offer students the opportunity for, to work with them full time whilst being sponsored to do the SEMA qualification. And this is in a range of different roles uh, across finance but also outside of the financial function as well. So considering roles in management consultancy as an example, as business analysts, as commercial directors, as marketing people, SEMA does open career doors for students across a business for the future of their careers. That's great Jason, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself and your organisation? Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm from ICAW, which is the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. And um, I work in the student recruitment team there. Um, so I go around to universities and talk to students about becoming ICAW Chartered Accountants. OK. What distinguishes you from the other accountancy bodies? Um, in the um, FTSE 100 organisation, we actually have... 81% um, of our members who are at board level, so no other accountancy body can match us on those particular stats. And um, we actually have 59% um, who are um, CEOs, um, FCOs and also MDs of FTSE 100 organisations. Um, we also have um, a different assessment process, so when it comes to the uh, modules, we actually um, assess ethics as part of the modules. So when you look through any of our graduate literature and materials, you won't see a specific ethics module, um, as we like to keep it very specific to the area that you're studying. Uh, we also have a professional development framework, which is a flexible um, ladder scheme, and this is um, something that you'd carry out with your authorised training employer um, to do your professional training when you go um, onto our ACA qualification. Um, so with this um, flexible um, professional development framework, you'd actually um, be um, increasing your communication skills, team working skills, business decision making and so on. Um, and this would actually have several stages. So depending on the projects and the clients that you work with, um, you'd actually um, go up uh, certain categories quicker um, than others. But obviously you have to get to the top of each of those categories to become an ICW Chartered Accountant. That's great, thank you. And what employers do you work with? 
We work with a um, huge variety of employers across um, all industry sectors. So um, we work with over 2,850 of them at the moment. And um, we have um, the likes of the big four in the practice sector that we work with, so obviously PwC, KPMG. Um, we also work with smaller accountancy firms and mid-sized ones. So um, we work with local <coughs> ones such as Reeves, uh, Moore Stevens as well. And we also work with um, recruitment uh, consortiums, so that would be the likes of Hat Group and Spot UK. They're basically an organisation that will um, take care of the training of several smaller firms. So when students apply um, for graduate positions, you would actually um, go forward and um, apply to several firms rather than just the one. Um, we also work with um, banks such as HSBC, RBS as well and um, we work in the public sector so if you want to work for the Treasury and um, local government you can do that um, and also business so you've got Boots, EasyJet, Tesco's etc. That's great Jenny, thank you very much for your time today. That's alright, thank you. Thank you.